Let's talk about dark mode design in Power BI. I love to create my reports in dark mode. It works really well for me in the environment I'm working in. And I want to share some tips and tricks and give you some advice when to create dark mode reports and when uh, choose light mode. And most of the times when I talk about designing in dark mode, people say, well, this just works fine, doesn't it? And it's true. It's not that I want to tell you you need to create everything in dark mode, really not. Uh, but there are certain moments that you could decide, I want to create something in dark mode rather than in a light mode. So today we will cover these topics. Why would you create something in dark mode? Why not? And does it make sense? So we are really going to dig into, uh, is this actually working for the audience, for the end user of the report? And of course, if you are creating something in dark mode, how can you make it work so that it really works and that the user is happy about this design? So let's cover the why. Why would you create something in dark mode if light mode also works really, really well? One of the reasons is it can be a little bit more comfortable looking at, especially if you're sitting in a room where the light conditions are uh, not that good or the light is turned switched off. It can be really nice to look at a darker report. Uh, most offices, they have this really bright light and light mode dashboards or reports work really, really well. But uh, many people work from home uh, or just like to sit in a room where the light is not super, super bright. And then dark mode can work really well. And then, of course, there's focus. If you're using the dark mode and you make the right color choices, it's really easy to track the attention to some data points. So the focus can be better in a dark mode design. And then, of course, there's this consistent experience. I work always in dark mode. All tools that I'm using that give me the possibility to go to dark mode, I turn them into dark mode. Uh, like I said, I work in a room that, where the light conditions are not best, and it works really, really well for me to not look at these white screens all day. And then, of course, it can be visually appealing. Of course, that's a personal choice. Uh, I think it's really visually appealing. Uh, maybe someone else thinks uh, I don't like it. That's that's okay. It can be visually appealing. It, for some people, it, maybe it's not for us. So there we have some reasons why we could choose to design in dark mode. And I also want to talk you, to you about the why not, because it's I think it's also really important to cover that topic and not just tell you like everything's perfect, do everything in dark mode. There are really good reasons to not design in dark mode. And one of them is contrast. Um, it can be really, really tough to design on a darker background because you need to use really bright colors so they're not getting lost in the background. So there's not so much color choice and the colors you can use, they need to be quite pride which means if you have visuals with a lot of different colors it can get really distracting which is also the second point focus and attention if you're using a lot of colors in dark mode reports it's hard to focus on the right uh, data and then there's readability um, if you are putting a table in uh, your report in Power BI and the background is darker and the text uh, is like white or light gray, it can be really hard to read uh, large amounts of texts. So that's important to keep in mind. And there's also something about accessibility, which also goes together with the contrast. Um, it If you're not using enough contrast, it can be quite hard for people to see what's going on and also uh, people that have astigmatism uh, so it's something with their eyes uh, for them the text in dark mode can look a little bit uh, different and harder to read so like i said before large amounts of text maybe don't use a dark mode design and of course there are less color possibilities because all colors you're using need to be really really bright 
So then how do we decide does it make sense or not? How can I decide if I want to create something in dark mode? And if you're wondering about that, how can I choose? Does it make sense for my audience, for my end user? You always should keep in mind that you're designing for the end user. You're not designing for yourself. So if I would des always design for myself, there would probably be 90% of dark mode dashboards at all my customers, but I'm not designing for myself. I'm designing for someone else. So the question should be, does the user benefit from it? Does it make sense for your end user? I have some examples for you. A support team, and this could be any team. It could be just a team working in a room where the light is maybe turned off or not that bright and all the tools they're using, they're in a dark mode. Um, it makes perfect sense for people like that to also get a dark mode dashboard in Power BI because everything they're looking at is in this dark mode. And then if you provide them with a light mode report, it's just brightening the screen, the, there's actually light coming off from the screen. Uh, that's not comfortable for people working in such a setting. If you're creating something for the whole company, I would suggest that you provide options. So don't choose for everyone. You need to look at this in light mode or you need to look at this in dark mode, but provide some options like using a light and a darker version. And I will talk about that later on how you can do that. Um, so you're not forcing one version on people. And there's also the group, I need a copy of that. And to be honest, don't create dark mode reports for people that are making physical copies of them because that's just a waste of resources. And um, most people that make physical copies of Power BI reports do that to make some notes on them. And you can't do that anyway if it's a dark background. So like I said, um, there's not this one size fits all, you should always create something in dark mode when, or you should always create something in light mode when. It's always depending on the audience, your end user, what they're looking for. And different end users have different needs. So now you've decided, I want to do this. I want to create something in dark mode. How can I do this? How can I create something that works really, really well? The first thing you need to think about is dark mode does not mean that it's a black background, like pitch black. And it does also not mean making all your text like white. Really don't do that because it will be really, really tough to look at. And you can see it in the example that I'm showing you. Um, that's really tough to look at. Uh, the contrast is awful. It's hard to see anything. Uh, don't do that. So dark mode does not mean we are turning all the background of the visuals black. You need to choose wisely. I would always suggest to use dark blue, dark green, dark gray colors for background, and also not white as text, but light gray for text. So the contrast is not as big, but still big enough that it can be read by anyone. That's for the background and the text. So which color should you use? You need to really choose wisely there. I have this example where I use orange as the main color and some green to pop up information. That's really important for me. I really want the focus uh, to go there first. So this is quite orange, of course. So it's really hard to highlight more information. Uh, without making it really distracting and like this color overload of all these bright colors. So another option could be this, light blue. Light blue, you still have enough contrast. Uh, it's still visible, the information is still visible, it's easy to read. And the nice thing about that is if you want to add contrast, like with bright orange, you can do it like this and you see it pops up, the information pops up directly, guides the attention of the end user. Something else that's really important is that you check the contrast. And luckily there are websites where you can quite easily do that. There's this one website, it's called accessiblecolors.com. Um, I'm not working together with them, but it's the website I always use 
to check contrast. Uh, why does it work really well? You can uh, put in there the background color and the text color and also the size of the text. And then it provides you with feedback. It says, okay, there's enough contrast, but if it's not enough contrast, it also provides you with feedback how you could improve it by changing the background color or the text color. And that's really, really valuable information. I mean, that's what everyone's looking for. I don't, I mean, it's nice that it tells me, okay, there's not enough contrast, but how can I change it? So this website also helps you with that. And like I said before, provide options. If you want to design something in dark mode, but you not everyone in your audience wants to work in dark mode, you can always choose to create a dark mode and a light mode version. Of course, if your report has like 30 pages, that will be kind of a lot of work. Uh, but we think about normal report, a few pages, it's absolutely doable to create something in light mode and dark mode. And you can do that in different ways and then provide the user with some buttons or icons they can use like in this example I'm showing you where I have a sun and a moon and if the user clicks on it they go into light or dark mode and in this case I use separate pages I have one page with the information in dark mode one page in light mode and then the user can switch between them which makes it really easy you can also do this with bookmarks um, not my favorite choice when I'm creating something that impacts the whole page, uh, but you could do that. So, like I said, there's no one size fits all. Some people will love dark mode designs, uh, some hate it. Uh, there are reasons to use it, there are reasons not to use it. Really, in the end, you always have to talk to your audience and what they need. and Choosing colors can be tricky, but there are websites that help you also check con checking the contrast. So please use them. Um, but even if a website tells you this is perfect, this is the perfect contrast, always also check with your audience, with the end user. Check with them. Does this work for you? Can you see all the information? I'm trying to show you. Does it make sense? Does the highlighting make sense to you? Do you find the information you want to find? Um, I made a video about the toggle button and I put it somewhere here around uh, so you can just click on it if you want to learn how to make a toggle button.